Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, so we're going to get right into it. We have the hangman. We have the emperor and we have the page of pentacles. So what you may be struggling with. <clears throat> what do you need to look at? We have, oh, the lovers. Look at all these major cards, the hermit and the seven of swords future energies we have the star we have the two of pentacles and we have the six of wands and bottom of the deck we have knight of wands so knight of wands for that overall energy is taking actions and it could be things are speeding up the knight of wands is a faster moving um, usually they're all on horses and the, it's the fastest moving um, horse there is I think the slowest one is the knight of pentacles so things could be moving fast for you or this energy may be coming in fast for you so what you may be struggling with is it's I feel that it's kind of inter like patterns for some reason I'm feeling patterns because we have two major cards and then we have the page of pentacles we have two major cards and then we have the seven of swords and then we have a major card and then two um, of the other cards so I kind of feel like there's patterns pat breaking patterns because it was two two one two two one and then one two two so changing patterns um, that things may be moving faster for you so what you may be struggling with is the hangman the emperor and the page of pentacles so it could be that you are struggling with feeling your own power right looking looking um, it could be struggling with realizing how powerful you actually are or it could be seeing things from a different perspective that there is maybe a loss of power um, that is going on with you um, I feel like let's grab these cards here this is the original tarot um, let's grab these and see I'm curious oh okay feeling overwhelmed I feel like maybe you're feeling pulled in many different directions um, okay. All right. Feeling like you have a lot on your plate. I also feel like what you may be struggling with is that it's almost like you're overwhelmed with emotions going on here in this situation. And sometimes when we feel overwhelmed we're not really capable of making the best decisions because we're excuse me not thinking clearly sorry i have the hiccups okay so it could have to do with a relationship that you are in and that you're kind of feeling um this distance in this relationship or you're feeling closed off i feel that you may feel that you have a, a sense, a loss of power within the relationship. Um, with the Queen of Cups, I feel like there's a lot of emotions involved, especially with the Seven of Cups and then the Queen of Cups. I feel that you're very emotional. I feel that things are maybe... A, Things are affecting you more than they usually are. Like you may be like exploding. That's what I was kind of feeling like exploding emotionally kind of with this kind of this explosion of all of these different choices. And when we feel that we are struggling with things like our and we're in our emo emotions and our feelings that um, we feel that like the littlest thing can bring the biggest reaction within ourselves. So I feel like that's something that maybe you need to be aware of and kind of see how this situation is affecting you. What do you need to focus on? Okay, so it's these three spilt cups here, right, that you're, that you're focusing on. And how do you turn those things around? And right behind him is this beautiful nine of pentacles and the king of swords. 
So as being analytical in this situation, I feel that it's with a relationship and I feel that there's some distance or you really need to look within and see, are you letting a lot of things affect you within this relationship or do you, are there are things that you need to walk away from? I almost feel like it's, are you taking things too personally? Are you being overly sensitive about things? I am definitely someone who is, I've gotten better, <laughs> but I've always been very sensitive. Like, and I used there, I used to, people would tease me about that. And that really bugged me. It's like, I shouldn't have to feel sorry for the way that I am. If I'm sensitive and I'm overly sensitive, then that's the way that I am. So don't make me feel bad about me feeling, being overly sensitive. I also feel that I wanted to change because I felt that too many things were affecting me being so sensitive to things. I think it's a good thing to be sensitive and aware, but I also feel that when you let those things get under your skin and you let those things bother you and they start affecting different areas of your life, then that's maybe something that you need to look at within yourself, but not because other people are telling you that it's negative to be overly sensitive. It's like, well, then don't be around me. Then don't, right? It, it's the way that I am. So don't make me feel bad for the way that I am. I'm not going to feel bad for the way that I am. You know what I mean? So I feel that for you, I feel like you are sensitive, but I, but I feel like it may be that you're overly sensitive about something. And I feel like it's kind of digging a little deeper to digging a little deeper to see, okay, why am I being affected by everything? Why am I being overly sensitive? What really is the root of what's going on here? Um, with this future energies here, we have the star, we have, right, getting things back under, uh, getting things balanced, right, feeling more of a balance. There's something that you need to let go of and making some decisions and there's something that you need to walk away from. So I feel like it's kind of walking away from this energy here and kind of realizing, okay, I'm not going to let that affect me anymore because I feel that it's holding me back, that I want to focus on me. And I also feel that it has to do possibly with the people that you surround yourself with, or, you know, if you're letting things get to you, really, what is the root of the problem? And why are you feeling so bothered? Like, why are you feeling, um, overly sensitive about something is there something that you haven't processed is there something that you haven't worked through like kind of analyzing it within yourself and like I always say is as I like to ask those questions as why am I feeling this way why am I what's making me feel this way and sometimes you don't know and sometimes it'll just pop it something will trigger you and it'll just make sense to you and you're like oh that's why that's why I'm feeling this way. This is that's why it's bothering me. That's why it's getting to me. And but just kind of being more aware of what's triggering you and what's affecting you and being a little more analytical about why you're feeling the way that you are and looking within to find those things that what about this relationship is um is getting to you, right? Right there. And that's kind of I feel like what tarot cards are about is kind of bringing things to the surface for you to look at and for you to explore and for you to see things from a different perspective and maybe ask yourself those questions that normally that you wouldn't like pinpoint or you wouldn't see. All right, so let me grab these and then do choices and decisions. I feel like you have a lot of choices to make choices to walk away, but choices to let go of something, ending something. Oh, <laughs> tower. <laughs> Talk about choices. But I kind of feel like this tower, I almost feel like this tower is twofold. Like the situation happened and then it makes you realize, but then I also feel like you are creating your own tower and you're like, you know what? This isn't working for me. I need to move on. We have the Ten of Wands again. So you have two Ten of Wands. So I feel like it's something that's making you very exhausted. Oh, and then we have the Ten of Swords. So definitely letting things go. Things are coming to an end, right? Things come to an end definitely after the Tower because Tens are completion. So it just definitely like Wands and Swords. Like it, there's, there's endings. There's endings coming for you. Death card. 
ending, the ending to something. Um, what that something is, I'm not sure. It could be different for everybody, but I feel that it could be, but I feel that it's, it's, it's an ending, but it's also new beginnings. Okay, it's learning from, I feel like this is a big lesson for you. I feel like this is something that, um, I feel like you learn a lot from this ending, like this chapter ending or this path ending or whatever this is, the situation ending. But I feel that it's something that is very rewarding and you may not see it as you're going through it. So it may be hard to see that, but I feel like, it's when you step away from it, you may be able to see, oh, okay, that's why that happened, right? Um, that's what was going on there. So definitely something is ending, coming to an end. But I feel that it's a good thing because you're no longer having this weight on your shoulders and this burden that you're carrying. Especially when you have, um, like, I just feel like it's walking away from things. Okay, we have vision, contemplating the future. I love that. I feel that goes with the death card, right? Because if something's ending, then something's beginning. And it's it's like, okay, now where do I go from here? How do I move on from here? What's the next step? What's the next chapter? What's the new year bringing in for me, right? Because we're to the end, we're getting to the end of 2023. So what what is that vision for 2024? So we have control. So I feel that control control maybe you're feeling out of control and you feel more in control once this ending happens maybe you're feeling like all of these things are like happening and you're out of control i feel a calmness with that control card i feel like there's a calmness that comes around and that's definitely a good thing feeling more centered all right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.